So TCCC is Tactical Combat Casualty Care. Uh, it is a evidence-based driven initiative on how we as airmen and medics systematically take care of patients on the battlefield. And what we're doing is applying the evidence and getting after those preventable causes of death bleeding out or a punctured lung and so real simple quick techniques that we can do to save lives on the battlefield. Our defenders, our Marines, our soldiers on the front line are going to need to know these techniques so they can save their buddies so they can get them to the medicals to get them back home. Having the live actors, it doesn't cost anything. They're volunteers but when you can get a patient that really yells and screams and interacts with you, you can't buy a dummy that's going to do better than a human. When we can train our volunteers to act like their injuries, it definitely gives a lot of good feedback to the medic and we have to react based upon their responses. And so that is invaluable to have rather than an expensive dummy. A lot of bases may not have a robust budget for TCCC. Some of these mannequins can get very expensive, but a very cost-effective thing is using items that we find at the commissary that simulate and look like real meat and tissue so that we can make sure that as folks are training, it's about as close as we can get to the real life thing. When we can partner with our teammates on base, uh, it just it, it makes for better training. It makes it for more realistic training. As we have evolved and, and played more with our defenders, we have learned that they've seen maybe some gaps in what they need to work on as well from a tactical movement. And so as we can polish our skills in the medical world, the defenders are polishing their skills so that we're training our junior airmen and junior defenders to do the things that we need to do correctly. And we'd rather do it in a training environment versus downrange when it really counts. Innovation fosters innovation, and so when you have multiple groups or multiple wings partnering together and multiple organizations on the wing, the innovations just keep coming. If it makes the training better, if it gets after readiness, this is what we want and this is what we need to do as an organization to make sure we're ready for the fight that comes tomorrow.